So the very first day of 2025, I had two students reach out to me and let me know that they passed their civil FE exam. And I'm so, so excited because I work near and dear with them um, on their journey. And so today I want to share with you what to stop doing if you haven't gotten over the hump yet. So welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, what's going on? My name is James Huntley and I have been helping hundreds of students pass their civil FE exam over the past few years. Been doing it through the FE domination course and through personal one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you head down in the description box below where you will find everything. So the number one thing that I see students doing that they must immediately stop doing is being cocky. Now, before you jump off of this video and be like, eh, that's not me, this is not gonna be helpful for me, just, just hear me out here. What do I define as cocky? So I'm about to call you out here. Number one, if you feel like your college education is going to allow and afford for you to easily pass this test, if you think that college, you know, that education was enough for you to easily pass this exam, uh, you're probably pretty cocky. So I want you to humble yourself, right? If you think that you know all of the concepts that are gonna be on the exam and that you know everything that possibly could be covered on this test, you're probably pretty cocky. Let me tell you a story. So I work with this student and he signed up to kind of talk with me and he let me know in the survey that he had failed his exam four times. And so when we hopped on the call, I was like, hey, what do you think was the thing that is keeping you from passing? And the first thing he says is, well, I know what's going to be on the test. I'm able to move through the problems so fast and this test is easy. I don't understand why I am failing. And so I'm like, OK, how are you doing with time management? He's like, oh, that's not a problem for me. I'm like. OK, so you do know all 60 concepts that are going to be on the test. And he's like, yeah, um, that stuff's pretty easy. And so I'm like, something's not adding up. And I could tell by his mannerism, he was very confident in his abilities. And I'm like, OK, let's see if we can do a quiz. So he, we do a quiz. I create a four question quiz for him keep it bare bone. It's just a mathematics quiz. And guess how many questions he gets correct? Zero. Yes, zero. So what initially is going on is, is he's walking me through the handbook. He's understanding all the variables. He's doing all these things so fast that he's moving too fast. And so he ends up making simple mistakes, confusing variables, and ends up getting every question incorrect. And so I have to have a, a talk with him. I'm like, bro, humble yourself. This test is not for the week, and it's no joke. Treat it, at, treat it with respect, and it will respect you. So um, basically, we had that conversation. He handled it very, very well. But this this goes into being cocky and being cocky looks different for different individuals. For some individuals, they think that they don't need to invest in study material. So they feel like they can learn it all on their own um, and figure it out for themselves. And while you may be able to do that, it may save you some time, headache, and a couple failures by just going ahead and investing in study material that covers everything. Some students are a bit cocky when it comes to studying and feeling like they need to um, study on their own and they don't look for different resources. And this is not only for you know course material, but it could be uh, talking with their boss, 
you know, who has passed their FE, you know, talking with other people who have successfully passed the FE to give them some tips. They don't want to hear any tips. They don't want to get any advice. All right. So this can be another way of being cocky, trying to do everything on your own. Another thing is when you're running into brick walls with difficult concepts, you try to skip over those and feel like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I don't need to, you know, figure that stuff out. I'll, I'll be OK on this exam. You don't seek tutoring or, or get with somebody who can explain this stuff to you in a, a better way. And so this can be considered or this is what I define as cocky. But it's just the idea of, hey, I want to make sure that you are um, getting help, getting the resources that you need and soaking up all the information. There's tons of different ways that you can learn. And there's always a way where you might can get more in depth in a subject. You may not know everything that's going to be on the test. And that's OK. Um, but just being aware of that and trying to be a sponge to soak up this information. Another thing that students really need to stop doing is horrible planning. Did you know that prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance? Yes, a lot of peas there. Now, some students will get on a call with me and I'll be like, hey, are you gonna study? And they're like, yeah, I'm gonna study. And so I always go with a follow-up question because it makes them think deeper into studying, right? Studying just seems simple and easy, but you need to, to think deeper into, you know, when you're gonna study. So I'll, I'll always start with when, okay? What time of the day? Then where, where's, where's the location? Are you gonna be at work? When uh, are you gonna do it before work? Where you could have some quiet time? Are you gonna do it at a library, cafe? Uh, are you going to be doing it at home when the kids are rolling around on the floor and screaming and wanting to play, right? You want to know the location of where you're going to study. You want to know why you're studying. What are you doing all this for? Why do you want to have your FE? Are you doing this to be promoted? Are you trying to make more money? Um, is this just a career goal? Like, what are you doing this for? Write this down. And then another thing you want to ask yourself is, is who will you say no to? So I listened to this guy named Alex Hermosi, super big in business, and he defines focus. And he defines it by saying that focus is the power and ability to say no to everything else. So a person who is focused only does one thing and they say no to everything else. So who are you going to be telling no? Well, sometimes it is people like your family or some of your friends who want to hang out, right? You have to tell them no because your focus is on the exam. And so the time that you're going to be out with them is time that you could be spending really studying and making sure you know your stuff. Sometimes it's distractions. And so there was a the funny, funny thing that one of my students mentioned to me that I really had no clue was a thing, but uh, there are different distractions, one being political distractions. He said that he would, you know, being that the debate or sorry, the presidential election was here recent, he mentioned that he would be arguing with friends, relatives, family about, you know, his political beliefs and he really felt like they were blinded by what was going on. And so he would get in these battles with them that potentially could last for hours. And he was distracted. He needed to be studying and he was supposed to be dedicating that time to be studying. But instead, he was on Twitter and on the phone and in people's faces arguing about some of his political beliefs. So these are distractions. So you want to make sure that you are focused on what it is that you, you know, what it is that your priority is. And so distractions like social media, the news, um, political 
distractions, uh, hobbies like video games, um, and your phone being a distraction, whatever the case is, eliminate those and, and be able to say no for this season. You're not going to always have to say no, but during this time, you really want to dedicate you know, enough time to your studies. So that pretty much wraps up the video for today. If you found some value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to check out some of the resources linked down in the description box below. Of course, FE Domination is available. And if you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one for